Last video, we had a look at the two components of risk that come about when a bond is not held until its maturity, so the price risk and the income risk. And these come about from the two components of the bond's income. There's the price that the bond is resold for into the secondary market, and there's also the interest that accumulates on the coupons that are received. So we noticed that these two components change in opposite directions in response to a change in the yield. So the question we naturally asked was, is there a way that we can actually cancel these two out by making them equal so that you would end up having no risk? So that's what we're going to have a look at trying to answer today. So in this graph, I am going to try and plot the change in these two components of income according to the scale of their change in response to a change in the yield. So what do I mean by the scale of the change? Well, we already know that they change in opposite directions. So when the yield moves, one will move positively and one will move negatively. We just want to match the amounts by which they change because we know that when the amounts match, they will completely offset each other. And so on the horizontal axis here, 